New tonight, a 12 News exclusive. For the first time, we are hearing from Sour Lake Police Officer Bill McEwen. A year ago, a suspect viciously attacked Officer McEwen inside a convenience store. His recovery has proven challenging, but it was never insurmountable. Tyler Segerman is live tonight with a story you'll see only on 12. What happened here on Memorial Day last year is still vivid. I was standing in this spot as paramedics loaded Officer McEwen into a medical helicopter, not knowing if he was going to make it. Well, I'm happy to say after speaking with him firsthand, he's not only alive, but he has surpassed the odds. God has been working a miracle in my life. Bill McEwen says prayer is the reason he's here. His recovery has proven remarkable. A few things to, to I still have to work on, but other than that, I feel very good. A year after being brutally attacked while responding to a call, the Sour Lake police officer is back home. I can't say enough about the support I had from Sour Lake and the, and the surrounding areas. What McEwen has been able to overcome is nothing short of a miracle. You know, I very nearly, nearly died, you know, a couple times, and I don't recommend anybody go through that again. Following the attack, McEwen spent nine months in the hospital. I, I had forgotten things how to swallow. He bounced from facility to facility, undergoing countless surgeries and medical procedures. At one point, his weight dropped to 94 pounds. It was just tough. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do anything. His tenacity and strength and encouragement from doctors pushed him forward. They were the reason why I'm in this, as good a shape as I am now today. Officer McEwen says his journey hasn't been easy. No, not just his recovery, but being away from his pup named Journey. I tell you what, nine months is a long time to be without your dog. During those months, the Sour Lake community stepped in, yeah! holding ragball tournaments and fundraisers to help McEwen and his family fight on. He himself says the support made a difference. The city, the businesses, the uh, 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 police department, everybody has been fantastic, absolutely fantastic. A true inspiration, and the best thing he told me? I feel pretty good. I feel very good. I feel like I used to feel like. Such an honor to not only speak with him, but see him, and I'm just so happy he's doing so well. Now, in terms of what happened, 45-year-old Bradley Pruitt, the man who is believed to have beaten Officer McEwen, is scheduled for a hearing on July 16th. He remains in the Harn County Jail. Live in Sour Lake, Tyler Sagerman, 12 News. Tyler, thank you. What a story. You know, Patrick, we were all rallying around this officer, and to see and hear him, hear his personality come through tonight, it, it, it makes you smile. I want to meet him. Right? <laughs>